what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more witcher toss a coin whatever they say <laughs> toss a coin to the witcher right today we're going to be doing episode five after this one we only got three more episodes to go um but you guys already know i'm enjoying this oh my god henry cavill knocking it out of the park definitely um you know one of the things that I would love to share is that, you know, when it comes on to The Witcher, I'm enjoying the series based on the fact that, uh, of course, the great acting, the, the the aesthetics, you know what I'm saying, what it, they're using to set the mood, the time period, everything about it, I think, is very perfect. The magic, everything they're doing pretty, um, pretty well. They're doing a pretty good job of telling the story. A lot of people was telling me on the last episode that it's not necessarily a flashback, but everything is kind of simultaneously happening and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Maybe this will be explained later in a later episode. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that was a spoiler by telling me that because I thought wholeheartedly that it was a flashback. Um, like I believe it was a flashback because it's showing basically how Cyril uh, how Siri was conceived you know but then they were showing like Yennefer in current time fighting a monster I don't know <laughs> okay I'm just I'm watching the show and I'm just trying to analyze it as much as possible to see if I can pick up on anything but Right now, it seems like we're in a state of confusion because they flash forward to, to them take eating a piece of the queen's, at, like, you know, a skin to locate Siri and found out she was in the forest. So that's why I was thinking they just wanted to show the connection between um, Geralt and Siri before they actually meet back up again as Destiny. Right, so that's what I was thinking, but I guess some people are saying everything is occurring some time simultaneously, which is ridiculous to me. But <laughs> but at this point, from what from my point of view, but we'll see what happens. Maybe there's some explanation in this episode coming up, but we'll see what happens. So let's go jump into it, and I will see you guys right back here for the review. Tell somebody I'm doing full reactions over here, man. Let's do it, man. What are you talking about, man? Yeah, man. <laughs> See you guys over there. All right, so let's talk about it, man. Episode, what, five? I think it is. Episode five. It's episode five, right? Yeah, episode five of The Witcher. Yeah, man. What can I say? You know, first let me get my my uh, my lustful self out of the way because I can't stop thinking about this girl because she's oof, she's so beautiful, Jennifer. Um, she wants everything, in her words, power, looks, everything. She wants everything. Feels like I I think. I don't know if this is a turning point of her meeting Geralt, if this is where the turning point is going to happen for her, where she stops kind of thinking so selfishly. Um, I'm digging her character, her character development. She wanted the djinn to, to, to possess her so she can have the power of a djinn or have the power overall just to do whatever, grant wishes, you know what I'm saying? Just, I mean, I'm guessing jinns are extremely powerful. You know what I'm saying? Um, because they can do anything. You know what I'm saying? Um, possibly without a price. You get what I'm saying? It seems, it seems like there's no price to pay for them. But with, with witches and, you know, wizards, there has to be a price when they perform magic. There's something, you, you, there's got to be a balance, right? Which is not the first time I've seen this kind of system or magic system, if you want to call it that, in a show where there has to be a balance when it comes to magic. It's something that I've seen before. 
So, um, so I'm definitely seeing something that I'm loving about the series so far. Very intuitive of intuitive of them to write the show this way. Um, and man, if the books are this interesting, I have to definitely, definitely read the books. Um, not going to happen anytime soon, but I definitely have to get into the books because if the books are this interesting when it comes on to explaining, you know, this system and stuff like that, like I'm definitely going to want to read about that. Um, in any case, man, apparently, you know, you guys were right when it comes on to everything is kind of happening simultaneously because, um, the, the bard did say to Geralt, um, that, that, that should happen yesterday. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought it was a flashback. It's not a flashback. So it seems like Siri is forward in time. I, I don't know what the hell is happening. It something is, I don't know. Okay. So I'm not even going to try to speculate. I'm just going to, um, wait until it's revealed because I'm pretty sure they're not going to end the season without helping us to understand that a little bit better. So I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to it. Siri is in trouble because this Doppler has killed Mausak and taken his look, his memories, everything, and went to get Siri from the forest. Um, I was kind of hyped to see if they were going to train Siri or something of the sort because she decided to stay. But apparently that is not the situation, <laughs> right? So it was great to see Geralt and Yennefer finally coming together because we know they become a very strong couple in the series. I'm pretty sure that just as much as it is shown in the video games, it is shown, um, it happens in the books that this an uh, unquenchable love that they have for the for each other that I one of the relationships that I loved the most when I was playing the video game so I'm pretty sure it's the same in the books maybe not the same story but I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't change that kind of relationship you get what I'm saying from the books to the video games you know what I mean I'm pretty sure they wouldn't mess that part up too many people would be mad about them doing that so they wouldn't change something like that i don't believe so so i'm glad that they hooked up finally um so that relationship is kind of solid i don't know what's going to take place going forward when it comes on to their you know how often they're going to see each other and deal with each other but at least you know that they've met each other now we know that there's a strong bond between those two in the witcher series and I'm looking forward to see what Netflix is going to do with that um, going forward, even in seasons coming up. So I'm definitely digging this, man. Definitely a great series so far. I have no complaints. And when I say no complaints, I do mean no complaints so far about the series. Every character is well written. She got a um, t she got a visit from Tissaia. Tissaia is trying to get her to come back to um i can't remember the name of the place but you guys know what i'm talking about um yeah so trying to get her back but you already know yennefer ain't going back to to the to the coven if you want to call it that she ain't going back to the coven okay she ain't going back um so i'm definitely looking forward man to see what they're gonna do with this going forward with the rest with the, the, the three episodes that are left for us to watch. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I'm enjoying this series. Hopefully you guys are, what, are enjoying the reaction. Let me know as much in the comment section, man. I would think that the amount of people that's watching this on the channel that you guys would leave more likes and comments and stuff like that, man. But you guys are really forgetting to do that. I don't know what's going on. You guys let me know what's going on, man. Thank you guys so much. And as always, man, leave the like, leave the comment, subscribe if you're new. There's more to come of The Witcher. Terabyte out. Peace.